Hey folks, I'm Rogan Industry. This is some more Let's Play Xmortis. I uh, think I righted the problem that I had last time. Let's uh, let's see if this works now. Going back to Gwen in that room on the left. I think what happened was either that I didn't finish the diary, the second time I did not look at the pentagram picture, or uh, yeah, I did have to play it second like multiple times to do this LP. Like I have to keep getting back to the point because there's no saves. So the second time I didn't look at the uh, pentagram picture, or it could be a glitch, because someone in the comments on Newgrounds had the same problem, where the uh, cellars wouldn't open. Alright, so Gwen should just be in here. What the hell? Oh, you know what I didn't do? God damn it. God damn it! Let's try this again. I had forgotten to do something that was necessary. I didn't read that book in the library. Forgot all about that part. Alright, so, hear the crying, yep, alright, this is it, let's go in, should be right, there you are, and then we're, uh, yep, not a lot to say, since you've already seen this already, I've made all my jokes, oh no, I'm back in, the yeah, Nothing funny to say. Okay, let's get to the cellars. Come on, cellars. I love me some cellars. I wonder if they're gonna bust me for not looking at the word smeared on the library mirror. Nope, we go in. <gasps> the door slams locked behind you. An old air filtration unit. Air filtration, yeah. But the ducting runs away from the actual house. Hey, a bloody axe. I want it. Let's equip it. Yeah, there's a weapon now. The normal me would say, let's try to find another way out, but the axe wielding me says, DIE! Yeah, let's get in there. This is turning into oblivion now. Long tunnels. An old tunnel system down in the... Like a house? You can't you can't do that. That's against building code. Wonder when we'll have to use this axe. I wonder. I wonder. Oh no! Boom! Headshot! A symbol appears on the forehead. Then that must mean this is the fifth sacrifice. If I'm not one of the fifth, the five campers, then who am I? I can't be. No. Please, no. <laughs> Guess who we are yet? We're that guy who wrote the diary? You know? 1997 guy? The guy who didn't know who Dead Torso guy was? We're that guy. That guy. Small hole in the wall. Key. You found a small key. It can only be used in this dungeon. Legend of Zelda jokes are so overplayed. I'm sad now. Alright. This leads to the final area. There's some dialogue up ahead. I'll try to record it. Yeah, I basically said, like, you solve this puzzle. It's, uh... Wow, well, there's a lot more dialogue and I cut it off, but it was just, like, hints towards the puzzle. This was actually, uh, the pentagram picture is your hint. Now, there's two endings to this game. You can show off them both, because it gives you the option to come right back here the second time. I don't know if you heard the dialogue where you said, like, become the hand of X more to solve the puzzle. Alright, so, um... A E F M U. Yeah, I made a jingle to help me remember. A E F M U. Okay. So, here's what happens because of that. 
we became the evil guy, and this is what happens because of it. This looks pleasant. I think we did the right thing. Oh, you probably can't even hear what I'm singing along to. It has a, you know, music. Ex Mortis Cult lures many. Anarchy. Major cities burn. Millions die at the hand of Ex Mortis Cult. Oh. That doesn't sound like we did the right thing at all. Yeah, you're gonna have to watch the credits before we get to do the second ending. So. Almost done another game. Seems like just yesterday I was starting Brick complaining about how I couldn't do Tale of Revenge. I actually started doing a bit of a uh, steampunk, cyberpunk kind of futuristic beat em up on the side of Tale of Revenge. I'm not working on it as much. Not for not wanting to, but I took a break and I have no idea how I did that shit. That, that, like, that was crazy. Looking back on that, how did I ever. Alright, play again for alternate ending. We go back to this area. Then the guy comes up. Yeah. He doesn't look so tough. He's a spinning face. He kind of looks like the Six Flags guy, you know. Six Flags! More flags! More fun! Okay. Here's what you do to get the second ending. You gotta run. Run, run, run. Run. Just keep going forward. Just get out, get out. And then there's tracks, so you follow the tracks. Looks like we're out of the house, viewers. I think this is the right thing to do. We're doing it. We... Yeah, we're doing it. We're escaping. Where do I go to leave? There we go. Yeah, there's no real doors out in the wilderness, so... Ah! Uh, what happened? This looks equally as unpleasant. You wake up in the woods with a lump on your head. You can't remember how you got there. All you can recall are the dreams, or maybe they are memories? You see a house in the clearing and decide to shelter there. Anything is better than freezing to death in the woods. Hey. Okay. Then we come back to the same screen. So that's a pretty cool ending, eh? Like, you forget everything, you just go right back in unless you become the evil guy. That's awful. It's somehow awesome. watch all the credits again, so uh, thank you for watching Let's Play Ex Mortis. I'm Rogue Industrialist, signing out.